up YouTube and today I'm going to tell you guys the top 10 worst things that people do when I'm fishing with them. Okay, before we get into the video, please subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment down below of what you want my next video to be like. Okay, number one is <clears throat> when you have someone who doesn't know how to use a spinning rod. <clears throat> When someone, they're going like this when they're using a spinning rod, and they and they, they crank like this. Yeah, cause they've been they've been fishing with Zebcos all their life. That's why. Okay, so and number two is when everyone. When one person thinks that whatever they're using is a worm. Like, someone will be over there and be like, my worm's awesome. Yeah. And number three, we have when someone is fishing and they just let their bait sink. Because they think it's deep enough where they can do that. Yeah, like someone would use like their crankbait per se, and they just let it sit and sink to the bottom, and then they'd start cranking. Like who does that? And uh, for number four, we have <clears throat> the person who always uses Zebcos. Like, I've gone fishing with this one guy, and he's over there using a Zebco, like, Hey guys, let's catch some big fish. Yeah, that guy, he, he was, he didn't catch anything. Nothing at all. Nothing. Like, no joke. Not even a weed. Okay, number five. For number five, we have the person that uses pliers to un unhook every fish they catch. Like, if someone catches a bluegill and they don't, they barely even hook it, they'll use pliers to unhook it. Yeah. For number seven, we have when someone always uses a bobber. Like, they'll use, like, a bobber on a spinner or, like, a big MEPS. Or something like that. Yeah. Those people don't know what they're doing. And for number eight, yeah, eight, we have the person who is fishing for bluegills that's using like a giant spoon or something like this. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> mm. Or they're Texas rigging a big worm like this. And then they use it like that. Yeah, those people don't know what they're doing also. For number nine, yeah, nine, we have those people who always use swim baits, nothing else. Like, this isn't a bad one, though. I don't, it's not that bad to use swim baits. But they use swim baits for catching anything, really. Like, even bluegill. So they use these tiny little swim baits. Tiny. And for number 10, we have the person who always uses jerkbaits for every single thing. Like, they'll use, like, top waters or for a northern or something. Look, it's not, it's pretty hard to catch a northern on top water because they're really never on top water. And, yeah. 
I'll also add some extra in there too, even though I said 10. Well, I think I did. Okay, so for number 10, we have, I mean, not 10, whoops, number 11, we have the guy that's, that uses an ice fishing rod like this for fishing for like anything really. Yeah, they'll use this for fishing for anything. It's, it's like this. It's one of those with the nails in it and the line on it like that. Yeah, I've fished with those people before too. Hold on. And number 12. I don't know if you heard me. But for number 12, we have those people who use, who use mono for every single thing. Yeah, they use mono for bass. Which is, it's okay for bass. Northern, which is okay. And for musky, which is horrible. Yeah, like, I, I don't use that. I mainly almost always use braid. Those people don't know what they're doing at all. And for number 13, we have those people who always use twisty tails. Like, it's not that bad, but when you use twisty tails that often, you're not really always going to catch fish. And then we have the daredevil users. The people who use daredevils for everything. I don't ever use these, really. Not ever. These were just hand-me-down lures. And then we have the people who think a swim bait like this is a worm. Like, really, I can see how it looks like a worm because it's like that. But still, this big swim bait, how would it be a worm? Yeah, and for number 15, last but not least, we have those people who use horrible horrible hold on horrible like i'm top talking like the worst worst ever baits yeah like people over there using what are they like these mini crank baits and everything and these just brown looking swim baits yeah, those people don't know what they're doing. They're they're just there because they think they can fish. Yeah. Leave a comment in the below and leave a comment below and yeah, peace out YouTube.